So I'll be talking about my journey to success. Why did I highlight the word journey? Because success is not a destination. I'm sure you all have, have heard that so many, many times. Success is actually a journey, right? Because every day should be your success. You shouldn't wait until you become Diamond Master, Sharon Rose Master, then you call yourself a success. But you should be calling yourself a success when you achieve your daily targets, weekly targets, monthly targets. Then when you are being promoted into Sales Master, Diamond Master, all the way until Imperial Master, you are actually being recognized by the audience or by the global, right? So journey is actually, uh, it is really fun. Don't take it like for granted that, oh, I'm here because of somebody registered me or somebody forced me <laughs> to, to do the anime business or they dragged me into the, uh, the system. But no, no, remember your success is dependent on yourself. It's not dependent on your upline, your sponsors, even your downlines, right? It is through yourself. In the beginning, when I met Anime, it was actually in August 2018, and I didn't join Anime because of the business. We were both making good amount of income, decent income, right? Uh, we pay our bills, we have our house, we have our home, uh, our car, right? So we didn't really need extra income at that time. So my wife really crazy about the anime product. So a friend of us came to our house and we had dinner after the dinner. He went back to the car and bring a boxes of Korean products. And as all you know, that those are anime products because my wife has been using this herbal product for so many years. And even we are not in anime, we always went to the herbal store, natural store. We bought the products from there. But as you know, usually expensive, more expensive than you are going to a regular supermarket. So long story short, my wife bought about a hundred dollar worth of products. And then she tried it. I tried it, the shampoo, the evening care. We all loved it. And I thought she stopped. She wouldn't buy anymore, right? So she asked me to keep purchasing every couple of days. Can you order this? Can you order that? I want to try this, try that. And in the end, I said, okay, enough, enough. Because this is MLM. I wasn't interested in, you know, supporting the business. Yes, we're supporting our friend who introduced the, the anime to us. But one purchase, I think, is more than enough. Don't try to purchase more and more. They're going to be rich, <laughs> the company, right? So long story short, I actually wanted to return the, uh, the evening care because I thought it was expensive because I didn't, you know, man, right? We just pay our bills. We didn't check what our wife's uh, buying, right? They they buy skincare that we just pay the bills. So my I was thinking, uh, okay, which one is the most expensive? Okay, the evening care was like $40 Canadian. Then I told her that, okay, this set is quite expensive. Can you return it? And she said, Mike, uh, okay, if you don't like it, okay, we return it. And we went to the center and we actually met our beautiful Korean upline, <laughs> Airi Jong, as all you know already, right? She is also our uh, amazing upline. And I met her and then instead of returning our products, she asked me so many questions and then why did you return? And then we made up a story that, oh, we had like a small Bristol uh, after using the, you know, we made up the story, <laughs> just want to return the money. And and Ari uh, gave us like a face, especially gave me a facial. And then after she pulled out that, Pill of mass, I was amazed of how clean my skin ever looked after so many 40 years, right? <laughs> Never looked that clean. So I, I thought to myself, okay, usually when we did this kind of facial, usually it costs us around 100 to 150 dollars. Okay, we'll take it home. And then you also, my wife called me, Mike, you are too cheap, right? <laughs> usually my skincare, a bottle cost me at least 100 dollars. And if you if I buy at least four bottles, six bottles, that's at least like four to six hundred dollars. Anime set is only like forty dollars for the cleanser, and usually I bought the the Japanese foam cleanser is like seventy dollars. We spend so much money. Oh, really? I didn't know, right? That's man. So we try to blame our wives, right? <laughs> so okay, if you said good uh, quality and good price, okay. Let let me look into the business. So I was invited into the first seminar, which is on September 2018. I was invited by Ari to attend the uh, one day seminar. And I believe uh, I, I haven't met John here, but uh, I, I believe I met all the amazing partners, uh, uplines, uh, not my partners, my uplines. 
and I actually sat at the very front of the uh, seminar to get the table. I want to really hear about this business opportunity. But what really struck me is when I attended the October 2018, the first Success Academy that I attended in Toronto, and I was actually asked by Ari, Mike, do you want to speak in front of the audience on the stage? You know, Ari, you know me, I'm shy. I am not able to speak even in front of my family. Um, forget about the audience, right? I couldn't even speak in front of five people. But Mike, if you want to become a leader, you have to be able to speak in front of the audience. And this could be your marketing tool. You can promote this to your group, to your family, friend, whatever it is. Tell the people about your business. Okay, about the marketing side, okay, that's fine. But let me work on my courage. Give me time to say yes, right? Eventually, I say yes to her. Okay, then I stood up there. For five minutes, it felt like five hours. I was trembling. I was nervous. I forget what my lines were. But I gave everything I had because I know that this is my business. Nobody... Um, push me toward my success, I had to push forward toward my own success. So that first success academy is my change. So it really changed me everything, right? First, I was the, uh, writing my life scenario, which I was blank. I don't know what to write it. And I just write, oh, I want to become a master next year. I want to earn 100,000 a month, you know, like funny stuff like that, which is unattainable. It's not is not relatable right so that's okay you write your life scenario because it is a must once i write my life scenario then i know where i am going in the one year two years three years five years ten years so that's like a blueprint right and then i created all my lost dreams i remember when i was younger i always wanted to have my own business but you know when you're in the foreign country it's not easy because you only have a limited amount of money that you brought from from the back home, right? So you couldn't, you know, invest in the just open a business. It's not like back home. Back home, you can have op open energy business, close, open another one, but not in Canada. So I lost all those dreams until I were in Atomy. Then, then when I was in Atomy, I write all my dreams and I put it into my life scenario. Then I created goals because dreams without goals, it'll be just dreams, right? So you need to create goals. So in Instead of like a long term goals, you have short term goals. Like I said, you have a daily goals, weekly goals. Those are the, those are the goals that I'm, I was creating. And then I was deciding to myself that I will become sales master. I actually spoke on the stage that I said the next time I'm on the stage, I will I will be a sales master already. That was my my uh, determined goal. Then also, I said to myself that I wanted to become a good leader, right? A good leader, at least I want to become a good partner for my uplines, right? And before I had my members, I want to become a good leader for my uplines. So that was my first goal that I want to become a good business partner for my upline and then become a good leader for my uplines. But of course, any kind of journey, there's always challenges. It is not a smooth ride that everyone thinks of. In Anatomy, it will be up and down. I joined Anatomy not because of the money, but I saw the vision that Indonesian market is going to open in two months, which is in October 2018. So I already planned everything very perfectly. Even the lineage is perfectly balanced, thinking of <laughs> that I would have become a sales master when the Indonesian market opened. So I was so confident that right away when indonesian market open i will right away become a sales master that's what, that was my goal but what happened was there was no result no pvs all the members are joining i think over 400 people joining in indonesia but nobody purchases uh, as I was expecting, right? I was expecting 2.5 million from my Indonesian side, 2.5 million from Canadian side. I'll become a sales master, right? But no result. It was only like close to 300,000, not even one general commission. I was so down. There's no business partners. I thought I would have business partners everywhere, but none, never. Then I almost gave up. I almost gave up. I think it was in December. I thought that, oh, I worked so hard. Like when I said I work hard, I work at least eight to 10 hours every day. I call people after a long drive. I used to live very, very far, four hours driving, round trip every day, 
eight hours of working, maybe one hours running around, then that's like 14 hours outside. After I got home, I still have to prep the dinner and then clean up. After everyone is asleep, then that is my atomy time until like two, three o'clock, sometimes four o'clock in the morning, every day for three months. Then I said, there's no result. Then I almost gave up. But I remember when I gave up, then I wouldn't achieve all my dreams, right? Remember, I wrote all my dreams in the life scenario books. Those will be dreams. So I didn't give up. Then this is my comeback. After that incident that I wanted to give up and I decided to myself, remember, I still remember that in October, I said to myself that I will have become a sales master. So in May, I actually achieved the sales master and I worked really hard with all my consumers, auto consumers, member, I've pushed them, hey, you better buy. <laughs> if you still like me, you better buy this period, right? Everyone loves me. Then I achieved that sales master. Then I gave the, uh, I was invited by Anime Canada to, uh, Canada to give the sales master speech in November 2019. And I think this is where I met John. And I was giving the speech that I gave thanks to my Lord Jesus, my wife, my son, all my sponsor leaders and my business partners worldwide, right? And then in August 2019, I was invited by Atomy Indonesia and to share a life scenario in front of a thousand people. There was even more people there in Indonesia, but uh, I forced myself to stand up on the stage to give the life scenario of mine. And then it was an amazing experience. And then what happened was I kept plugging to the system, any seminar, any success academy, any Zoom meeting that my upline sponsor gave it to me, I always attended. I never miss any single of them. I always attend no matter what, unless I was in the hospital, which I wasn't, then I had to attend, right? So I attended all the success system, doesn't matter. Long, far, close, there's usually there's no close one. Usually it's about an hour, an hour and a half. I drove back. Right, I push all through the snowstorm, uh, storm, thunderstorm, all the storm. I always push then to get into the the seminar success system. And then my comeback was I kept sharing the good news. It means wherever I go, I always tell the good news about Atomy, and this was just one of my. Um, sharing to strangers which happened to give, to become one of my leaders right now she's a sales master and we all keep doing the same thing we kept sharing the good news and even after the church service i didn't just mingle with all my friends but instead i go around delivering the products you know all these consumer they don't want to purchase themselves i delivering all the products making sure they love the atomy product that is my uh, every week activity then the growth is I help all my partners to have the facial gathering because without the facial gathering, of course, they don't they're not they're not gonna know what's the Atomy product uh, quality is like, right? So every weekend I always go with all my partners to give all these gatherings. And the year 2020, as all you know, this is the best year of all time, right? <laughs> In January, I was attending the Atomy Fusion. It was uh, in the Toronto Success Center and I was there with John. John gave like the compensation plan. I was giving the fusion. I was so excited that I even tell myself that I wanted it to become a diamond master in April, 2020. But what happened was the bad news, right? The COVID-19 pandemic. In March, Canada, the whole country locked down. There's no business has can open unless it's essential. It means Atomy cannot uh, have any offline meeting anymore because it is not essential. And of course, there's no one day seminar anymore from the company. There is no success academy provided by the company. And there's no center meeting as well. As you know, without this, the success system, how can we grow? So the plan to become a diamond master on that year was crumbled like, like you know, like uh, playing that Jenga and everything just crumble. I thought to myself, okay, there's no way this year I would become a diamond master. But what happened in during the pandemic in 2020, the company switched everything to online, online one day seminar, online success academy. Usually the Korean success academy, we were not able to watch them live because First, it's in Korea, it's not being live streamed, and it's not in English. Right? But ever since the pandemic, 
all this being translated to more than 10 languages. I was so amazed by how amazing this company is. Everything is switched to online just like a flick of finger. And the center meetings also switched to Zoom meetings. So I tell all my partners that these are the success system right now in the pandemic. You like it or not, we're not able to meet up like before. I wouldn't be able to help you with the gatherings, uh, facial gathering, whatever the gatherings. We have to do this with online. Then what happened in the midst of the pandemic in March, two new sales master. I was so amazed. I thought there won't be any sales master. Everyone is tightening their belt, right? Because everything is going crazy. People not sure about their future. All the sales are coming down. This is the beauty of the army business. Army business is not related to the recession. It's not related to what's happening to the economy because our product are daily necessities. People who lost their job, they still have to brush their teeth. If women, they still have to use their skincare. Maybe they even use more during the interview. So our product is actually selling themselves. We don't even we have to push hard, right? And then in August, another two new sales master popping up without, you know, without any planning, right? And then in December, another two new sales master happening. And then automatically, when you have two on its leg, then you become a diamond master. So in December 2020, I was promoted becoming a diamond master without even any plannings. And I was so amazed by how the system of Atomy works. And 2021, last year, these are all my achievements. Again, I sincerely, I humbly said this is not brag, trying to brag, but I'm trying to show you that this is our business. This is our Atomy business, right? And it is really happening that that this will happen to me, it will happen to every one of you as well. So in May 2021, I actually created my own program because I have my Atomy International YouTube channels. So I created a program called One on One Global Leader Interview. So in May 2021, I invited all this amazing global leader who already succeeded into the program, I interviewed them about 45 minutes to an hour just to get a sense and then try to learn about how they can become so successful and I can share it to the global Atomian. So I did this for probably like almost six, seven months. And also in July 2021, out of surprise, I was entered into the global, global Auto Sales Master Club. This is what we call in Canada before is a VIP club. It means once you achieve your auto sales master, you can repeat it 12 times in 12 months, then you will get this pin, right? So it is uh, the recognition from the company that you have achieved your auto sales master 12 times, just like our Joyce, right? This time she has that pin. So this is the same like what happened to me in July. In August 2021, I oh, I opened another uh, program on my Atomy International YouTube channel. It is called My Atomy Story, but it is in Indonesian. So I invited all the amazing Indonesian leader who really successful into the program. I invite them to, to do the interview, to learn about the strategy, how they did, how they managed to become so successful in, in this short period. And in September 2021, with the global leaders that I interview, I actually gather six of them and we had a combined business class together. I also invited the uh, guest speaker like a star master Rebecca Wong from Canada, Sharon Rose Master Jem Sung from Singapore and also Royal Master Jason Shim, you know, the one who got promoted to Crown Master recently from USA. So I work with the other amazing five global leaders, Diamond Master Ju Armstrong from Australia, Sharon Rose Master Israel Kim from USA and Sharon Rose Master S. Silly from Canada, Sharon Rose Master JC Kapunian from Malaysia, and Sharon Rose Master Sherry Lee from USA. We're not on the same line. We are all different lines. But this is the beauty of Atomy. We need to work with our sibling lines because their success is your success, right? Don't even think that you are the only one in Atomy because when you think, when your mindset is like that, you don't want to work with other lineage, then of course, it will not be your success. That's what happened to our Imperial Master number two, right? That's what he says. Your sibling success is your success. It wasn't me, <laughs> it was his. In October, 2021, and I was promoted again as a Sheridan Rose Master. 
and I was uh, working amazingly with all my amazing business partners and leaders. There were like four new uh, diamond master, and I think I worked with another 17 sales master. Everyone achieved their mastership together. This is amazing beauty in Anatomy's uh, success system. When a leader succeed, it doesn't mean that you succeeded alone. There are over at least 30, 40 leaders, partners that are also achieving their success and also hundreds of members under them achieving general commission. So in the enemy, we are trying to bless as many people as possible, not like other company. When you succeed, pretty much you succeeded alone because you took the money, they took the hurt. <laughs> but in enemy, everyone took the blessing. It's just like the blessing giver, right? So that is the beauty of our enemy system. And in November 2021, I actually created a program also named Global Fusion Meeting. So this is only like a closed group meetings with all the six leaders that I already uh, said about the business class. So we had uh, this together every week, then we share the vision to our, all our members. And this year, 2022, which is still ongoing, and in January, January, January 2022, I actually made the same official meeting, but this is in Indonesian. And I gather around eight Indonesian leaders. Then we have this official meeting every week with them, with all to our, our members. And also this year in April, there's one new Diamond Master happening and then another two new Sales Master. That's the beauty of success in Anatomy. So what is the secret to success in Anatomy? You know, if you succeeded alone in anatomy, it's not fun, right? But you want your partner success more than yourself because your partner's success is your success. So how do you get your partner success? First, you need to get them understand the company model, cherish the spirit, create the vision, follow the faith, serve in humility. You just need to understand fully not just to say it but you need to be able to present it if people ask you why is the first one is cherish the spirit you have to know right how come the last one is serving with humility you have to know how to explain to, about that so company model is very important that is very first one that really attract me into this business the second one the eighth step to success because in anything there are steps right you're making a cake you bake a cake, there's a step, right? You have to put the dough, you have to probably filter the dough and put the sugar and then put the butter, whatever it is, sugar, and then you bake it, right? So same thing in success. You need to know what is the first one. Create your dream, commitment, contact list, right? And then you invite them, show the plan, and you follow up with all the one that you already prospected. And then you consult with your plans, with your leaders, and then you duplicate. This is the eighth step to success that you really understand. When I say this, it's not about you really know uh, what is the eighth step to success, but you really have to master it until you are able to give a presentation to your own members. Then you will have your partner success. Then life scenario. Again, this is so important. I couldn't stress this more enough. If you do not fill your life scenario, it means you are planning to fail. So if you do not want to fail, or if you don't plan to fail, then you need to fill out your life scenario. Because if you do not, then you will fail miserably. <laughs> then the next one, you need to do the daily eight core with um, consistently and persistently. Doesn't matter if you make general income or you haven't generated, you still have to do the daily eight core habits, right? Remember, the first one is reading the book, was the VOD, use the Admi product, share the Admi product, and then attend all the meetings and show the plan and then deliver the product, consult and build the trust. This you have to do consistently every day, no matter you like it or not, not because trying to burden you, you want to to this to become a habit. You know, it takes 21 days to create a new things to become a habit. It takes 90 days for this new habits to become your lifestyle. So you want these habits becoming your lifestyle. So if you're not reading the book, you feel like you feel something is missing on that day, right? Let's say you smoke. Because you, your habit is smoking, if you don't smoke, what's gonna happen? You feel something is missing, right? So same thing in anatomy. If you are not doing daily core habits, if you don't do this habit, of course, you're not going to be successful. 
because successful people and unsuccessful people, they all have habits. So if you want to be successful in anatomy, you must follow these daily acor habits, the one I just told you. Then you have to do this religiously, no matter what, because you're trying to convert these new habits into lifestyle. And then you have to duplicate whatever that you're doing. Unless you can duplicate, then of course, you have to do this all by yourself. Then you're gonna be burnt out and then probably you're gonna give up, right? So what is the difference between movement and progress? A lot of people get confused that they think that, oh, Mike, I'm busy every day and I don't need anatomy and I think I'm fine, right? And that is the sad part, but it is a reality. People are not, realizing that they could have a lot of movement, but if the movement is not a progress, it's pretty useless, right? What is a movement? Movement is like a hamster running around in the same wheel over and over for the same thing they're doing. That is a movement. People are like this. Mike, I have two, three jobs. I don't have time for the meeting, for the seminar, for that, for that kind of nonsense, right? I'm trying to work so I can pay my bills. I'm not saying that you have to quit your jobs, right? I don't, I didn't quit my job yet. <laughs> I will this year, but I understand that if I keep running my rat race, where am I gonna be in the next year? On the same spot, because I am running in, on the same spot because I'm not progressing, right? So don't be proud that you are working three job, four job, five job. If today is the same or even worse than a year ago, you shouldn't be proud of that, of that busyness, of that movement. You should be proud when you are making a progress, just like a climber, like a mountain climber. They know tomorrow they're at least a couple meters higher than yesterday. That's, it's called progress, right? So you need to keep climbing the mountain of anatomy. Remember, there are seven mountains in anatomy. Sales Master, Diamond Master, Sierra and Rose Master, Star Master, Royal Master, Crown Master, Imperial Master. So how many mountains are you climbing? Are you just climbing, just trying to sell everything every day, every month, but not trying to climb the mountain of the one that I just told you? You need to set your pace for progress, not for movement. You could have a lot of activities. You are doing meet up with this, meet up with this group, but if you don't have a target, what you are meeting on that day is pretty much you are doing a movement. You are not progressing. A lot of people getting to meet their consumer and then they, they chat a little bit about anatomy and then they got carried away. They talk about COVID, politics, and then at the end of like five hours, they don't have any result. So when you're trying to do the anatomy meetup, you need to have a, like a result-oriented meeting. You need to know. After the meeting, what am I getting? At least you need to set like a topic, what you are going to speak on that meeting or gathering, right? So you need to understand this movement and progress. So how to keep progressing? That is a big question, right? Stop wasting time with negative people. So I'm sure you all have friends, um, communities that you hang out with, right? If these are the people always negative about everything, especially about anatomy, you need to get up. You don't need to be with them, right? They are not created for you. Remember, eagle only play with eagle. Eagle will never play with chicken, right? So if you feel that you are not progressing because of this community, get out. What about their feeling, Mike? They're gonna be hurt. Do they care about if you are hurt? Let's say your family being stranded on the street and then they care about your family. Think about that. If these are, these are the people that care about your family, stay with them. But if they're not, if they're all negative about everything, especially about Adami, the business that they're trying to build, get out, stop wasting time with them. Then invest, invest and invest. So invest in, in the products. You must use the product because that's one of the daily eight cores. Invest in yourself for your self-development. What's about the, uh, maybe like from YouTube about the character building, right? About Think and Grow Rich book, right? There's so many books online, right? So you have to find those, those type of books and then you invest yourself 
to progress or to upgrade every day. And then the last one, invest in your partners. Invest time with them, sit with them, go through their lineages, go through their challenges, right? Invest your time. You're not wasting time with your partners. You're actually investing your time with your partners. Then when you invest, you will harvest. Then always keep checking your why. This is very important because you need your life scenario. That is your why. If you forget your why, just open your life scenario or open your Atomy online account, right? You can open it there. Oh, I need to buy a new house in three years. If I don't do Atomy, then I wouldn't have a new house. Then you are going into the Atomy even more inspired than before, right? So you need to keep checking your why and then you need to do more action than learning, right? This is the eighth step to success. A lot of people after this COVID pandemic are too, um, what do you call, too comfortable with sitting in front of the camera, you know, maybe turn off the camera and then they just listen, maybe lying down on the bed, couch, and then scrolling Facebook in the meeting, right? They think they're learning. They think they're doing something in anatomy, but you're just wasting your time. If you want to sit in a meeting, open your camera and then listen. Show to your partners that you are actually learning for action, right? A lot of people get this reverse. Nowadays, because of everything online, they just turn it on and then they do something else. After that, they forget what was the topic. Then because they forget the topic, of course, there's no action. And sometimes all the members, they love attending the meeting but they do nothing because action is the one that determines your success, not your learning. Remember, knowledge is not power. A lot of quotes says knowledge is power, knowledge is power. No, actually applied knowledge, that is power. Once you know the knowledge, then you apply it into action that where the power lies. And you must track your progress because anything that is not trackable then of course you're not progressing how do you track it your daily eight core you need to track every day how much you are progressing like i said you're the climber if you're not getting more checks in the next three months it means you're not progressing remember we have eight checks right every day read the book watch vod use the product and so on and so forth right if everything is not checked by the end of six months, of course you're not progressing. If you start everything is checked and then at the end you're not checked, of course you are declining. So you need to track your progress every day. This is the daily acre habit. And the last one, stop comparing with others because you are not running other people's races. You are running your own races. So when you look at the mirror in the morning, Tell yourself in that mirror, tell that person in the mirror, I'm going to beat you today. You are racing to yourself every day. So do not compare yourself to others. I want to close with these two quotes. I always say this, actually it's not mine, right? I just quoted from internet, but I forgot who that was. Success is a journey, not a destination, right? Every day, like I said, should be a success for you. It means once you achieve your daily eight core habits, you could call yourself a success, a successful atomian doing the eight core habits. And then you challenge yourself that you want to give a presentation about eight steps to success. Then after the presentation, you achieve your success. Remember, once you got your promotion, that is not success. That is just a recognition of your small successes. If you're able to achieve small successes out of, after another, small successes after another, then one day you're gonna be recognized. Then that is your journey in anatomy. Then the next one, you are the average of the five people you hang out with, right? I'm sure you have heard this quote. If you hang out with five successful people, you will be the six. If you hang out with five idiots people, you will be the six. So choose it wisely. Thank you so much, everyone. My name is Mike Sujadi, Sharon Rose Master. Good job. Good job.